Welcome back to Learn with Mednagats. In this video, we will teach you an easy method to interpret ABG results. When analyzing the results of an ABG, you must ask yourself three important questions. Number one, is this an acidosis or is this an alkalosis? Number two, is this metabolic or respiratory? Number three, has it been compensated? Now let's find the answers to these three questions. Question number one, is this an acidosis or an alkalosis? To check if it's an acidosis or an alkalosis, check the pH. If the pH is less than 7.35, it's an acidosis. If the pH is more than 7.45, it's an alkalosis. Question number two. Is this metabolic or respiratory? Remember, kidneys regulate the bicarbonate levels in blood. Lungs regulate the partial pressure of carbon dioxide in blood. In other words, bicarbonate indicates that it's metabolic in nature and PaCO2 indicates that it's respiratory in nature. So, step number two is to look at the bicarbonate level. In an acidotic patient, if the bicarbonate is low, it's a metabolic acidosis. If not, it's a respiratory acidosis. You can confirm a respiratory acidosis by a high PaCO2 level in the ABG. In an alkalotic patient, if the bicarbonate is high, it's a metabolic alkalosis. If not, it's a respiratory alkalosis. You can confirm this by a low PaCO2 level. Step number three. After you determine whether it's metabolic or respiratory, check if compensation is occurring. A normal pH with out-of-range PaCO2 and bicarbonate indicates full compensation. An abnormal pH and an abnormal PaCO2 and bicarbonate values indicate partial compensation, means the body is in the process of fixing the imbalance but has not yet brought the pH back to normal. An abnormal pH and an abnormal PaCO2 or bicarbonate indicates that compensation is not yet happening. In other words, it's uncompensated. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.